Perak Amaychar is a Perus Daf Kubeis, sponsored the Linishmas of Prime Shchada Ben Yona. Let's review. One who contracted to build a crypt on his property. The Mishnah Kufalif brought a machlokas concerning its size and the amount of recesses it must contain. According to the Tanakhama, the Rabbanan, the area of the crypt must be four by six amos with eight recesses. According to Rabbi Shimon, the area must be six by eight amos with 13 recesses. A minimum of six amos is needed to bury three corpses, three amos for the recesses, two amos separating them, and one amma between them and the wall. The Gemara's first challenge. The Gemara brings a Mishnah that appears to present a third opinion of the crypt size. One who uncovers three corpses, the two outer ones spaced not less than four and not more than eight from each other are assumed to be a graveyard. This Tana holds, number one, a crypt measures four by eight. Number two, three corpses can be buried in a minimum of four amos, three amos for the recesses, two tvachim or a third of an amma between recesses, equaling four between the recesses and two tvachim between the recesses and the wall. Apparently, this Tana represents a third opinion. The answer. There is a Tana in Abraisa that had a different version of Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon ben Yehuda stated in Rabbi Shimon's name, if there are more than three corpses in a space, four to eight amos, we disregard all those in the middle except one. The two on the outside and one in the middle combine. According to this Tana, Rabbi Shimon holds the dimensions of a crypt are four to eight. The second challenge. The Mishnah, the Gemara attributed to Rabbi Shimon, continues. If three corpses are found, an inspection has to be made up to 20 amas to determine if the cemetery extends to another crypt. According to Rabbi Shimon, the inspection should be 22 amos. Each crypt, eight amos in the courtyard between them, six. According to the Tanakhama, the Rabbanan, it is 18. Each crypt and the courtyard between them, six amos. The Gemara presents two solutions. Number one, this ruling follows the Rabbanan. However, one crypt has to be inspected diagonally to take into consideration different sized corpses. The diagonal equals 7.2. The Chachamim rounded it to 8. 6 plus 6 plus 8 equals 20. Number 2. The ruling follows Rabbi Shimon. The three corpses found were stillborn, whose crypts were shorter, 6 instead of 8. This case was 6 plus 6 plus 8, which equals 20. The Gemara's third challenge. Rabbi Shimon and the Chacham dispute whether there is a prohibition of kilayim in a vineyard whose rows are not separated by four amos. Rabbi Shimon holds we do not view the vines planted less than four as if they are not present, whereas the Chachamim hold we do. The opposite stated in our brisa of corpse. The Gemara's answer. Rabbi Shimon distinguishes between vines that the planter does not intend to uproot and corpse sometimes buried temporarily to be reinterred in another plot. The Chachamim hold a crowded grave is a dishonor to a corpse and cannot be considered a graveyard. However, one would crowd vines together. The planter leaves those that develop properly and the others are uprooted for firewood. If you're enjoying Dauphin 5, please, Click on the link below, subscribe and become a sponsor. Thank you.